Dundee United had gone seven league games without a win, while Kilmarnock had not run away from home since Boxing Day. The 21st of December was Dundee United's last victory in the league. They did win in the Cup here last Sunday against St Mirren, though. That's good play by Nadia Sifsi. Away from Jackson Irvin, cuts in onto his more dangerous right foot. Rattles the post. Does Nadia Sifsi. And it almost came back off the post and onto the back of Craig Sampson. Taken short by Kilmarnock, but given away. And here's Sifsi. Can they mount a counter attack? It's long, looking for Gary Mackay. Stephen Irvin's there, but he's slipped up. And Gary Mackay Stevens steadies himself and finds the back of the net. Ten minutes in here at Tannadice. Long, hopeful ball from Sifsi. But Irvin got himself into all sorts of bother. Gary Mackay Steven took his time, picked his spot, and scored for the eighth time this season. Tesselar waits, up it goes towards Ashcroft, but he finds the net, although the whistle had already gone. Just climbing on the back of John Souter there. Nicely done by Gold to Armstrong. Direct running. Mackay Stephen again. Well, it whistles just by the post this time. Holds his hands up, apologises to his teammates, but he had every right to go for that. Away by Robertson. Took a touch off Armstrong. To Mackay Stephen. Whipped in towards Sifsi. He found the space for the shot, but it lacked the power. Well, Kilmarnock haven't won here since August 2008. They've gone nine games without a win since then and trailing. Good pass, though, to Irvin. Kept to hold a possession. Now Boyd! Fine stop, Tesselar! And Mackenzie, if he can get a shot in, and eventually into the hands of Radoslav Czerziak. Kilmarnock so close to the equaliser. First of all, Boyd, that was a great save. And Tesselar denied by the post. Curtis Good. That was a little behind Robertson, and that put him on his heels. Here goes Mackenzie, running into the open space. He's by his first man and cut back. And Eremenko couldn't tuck away the finish. It was a great chance. After Robertson was robbed in possession by Mackenzie. Rankin with the first time ball in. Pascali cut it out. Ashcroft back to Samson and well, a miscue from Craig Samson. Rankin was almost in there. Robertson. Well, again, slack play from Kilmarnock at the back. Kai Steven. He's got Rankin outside. Rankin, lovely ball in. And Watson was the man arriving at the back post. He's not shy of a goal or two. Keith Watson. Delightful ball in by Rankin. Robertson again sold short by the pass. Eremenko, what a hit! And Kilmarnock a level five minutes before the break. Alexei Eremenko is back. What a hit it was, too. Eremenko, nice touch. And here goes Tesselar, rampaging forward, still going the Dutchman. Your own Tesselar. Teed up for Sammy Klingen. And he's all about the power. Sammy Klingen just couldn't control the shot. Tesla did so well down the left hand side. Pascali. Your own Tesla. Route one stuff for Chris Boyd. Well, he met it well. It was a good connection. But just rising over the top of the crossbar is Chris Boyd. 
look for this fourth goal in his last three games. Left by Eremenko. Irvin, first time. Boyd, still Chris Boyd, blocked. He claims it was by a hand, although it looked to come off the back of Keith Watson. Muirhead, back to Tesla, and back it comes to the 17-year-old. Nice dink over the top. Chris Boyd gets there first ahead of Czerzniak. It's Boyd and it's in the back of the net. The last touch may have come off Rory McKenzie. Muirhead's lofted ball. Czerzniak didn't get there. Robertson was on the line, but he got nothing on it. And McKenzie has got Kilmarnock back in front here. Kai Steven looking for an instant response, and Curtis Good has got it. The lead lasted less than a minute. The man on loan from Newcastle United has got his first goal for Dundee United. Watson. Swung into the middle. Half cleared by Ashcroft. Only as far as John Rankin. Samson got down well, it was bobbling across the surface. Which certainly isn't the smoothest in that goal mouth. Here comes Sifsi, using his pace and power. Gets the ball on to Rankin, and he squeezed one in! John Rankin! completes the Dundee United comeback. 71 minutes played. Dundee United back in front. What a game this has been at Tannadice. It's Rankin's second goal of the season. And what an important one it could be. One back by Nadia Sifsi. And played forward. Here's Robertson. Robertson hits it. Well, he's scored five goals this season, the left back. That certainly had plenty of venom in it. And Dundee United have broken the winless run. A really important three points for Jackie McNamara's side, their first win since before Christmas. Subscribe now for free and catch all the action on SPFL YouTube.